Welcome everybody to another Inventive tutorial. My name is Mr. Galindo. Today we're going to be looking at project files, creating project files, and choosing a project file. Project files are the kind of overarching file structure we might use if we're going to be creating a long-term project or a number of parts within a single kind of scope or project. To create a project, we're going to go to the Home tab down the bottom left here from any file, or if you've just opened Inventor, you should probably be on the Home tab to start with. We're going to go up to the ribbon, to the Get Started tab, and then select from the Launch Panel, Projects. You'll automatically have these three different types of projects, and you may have more. We're going to create our own new one, and I'm going to be using this for the rest of the tutorials. So, the first option we asked is, are we creating a Vault project or a single user project? You'll be creating single user projects. Clicking Next, I'm going to give this project a name. For example, Ben. Inventor Tutorials. I'm then going to select a workspace folder, which is where the files will be saved. So I'm going to browse for the project location, go to my computer, find the network drive with my name on it. Under the network drive, you should have a classes folder. And for example, if you're in my Tech A class, you'd be saving this into a, a folder structure like so. If you don't have a folder structure like so, you can create folders using the button down below. Classes the technology subject if it's what you're using in, and then a folder for the project. Now I'm going to go down to my inventor folder, project files, and then inside the project files I'm going to create a folder called um, tutorial files. Now selecting OK, I'm going to check that it all works correctly, click next. Now if I was to be creating a more complex engineering uh, design, I might be inserting a library which would have standard measurements of bolts and electrical components, for example like the electrical inventor library here. You won't be really using these, but that is an option. Clicking finish now, now I've created this project. Now, once you've done this, um, normally you can double click on it to select it, and then click done. You'll also notice, if you go File New, <coughs> that you can select a project file down the bottom here from the drop-down. You can also create projects by clicking the Projects button. Now, if you have, like me, existing files already open, it will not allow you to switch projects. So this is something you have to do before you start making files, or afterwards with no projects open. And that's how projects work. It enables us to open up a project in the top here, for example, and it'll specify the recent documents we've been using. For example, I've got a selection here from engineering documents to some little electronic casing components to a F1 Formula 1 car. Thank you for watching. That was another Inventor tutorial.